Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Hello there. Um, today, um, I thought I would go over um, using the closed caption feature. Um, since I'm at I'm at that stage now with my short film, where I'm going to be adding the sh uh, the closed captions. Um, I did some research on the topic um, because I wanted to do it right. Number one. Um, and number two, I have not done closed captions before um, for a short film. So here, um, again, I'm talking about Transits, the film that I had uh, shot and edited over the summer here in 2019. Um, and I'm scrubbing through the timeline here. Um, this purple uh, adjustment layer, for lack of a better term, um, can be found either by going to file and then new and then captions or could also be done within the project panel on the bottom here for new item click and then choose captions now when you do that you'll get an option here um, the old standard is the CEA-608 um, the 708 is what I'm using um, I've done some research on it and 708 appears to allow for more uh, features in terms of stylizing your text and whether or not you want it to be translucent um, you know the background translucent and then there's teletext um, which I believe is more of a European thing but I'm not hundred percent sure anybody that knows the answer to that please uh, let me know in the comments um, I did notice somebody using that online and saying that it was okay for YouTube. Um, I can tell you that I've done um, a small section here of my film, I would say about five minutes of it, all closed captioned, and I sent it up to YouTube using the CEA 708 um, option. And when I did that, I used Service 1, and then it wants your time code, um, you know, your time base, whatever your film is made in. Um, so when you select that, it basically creates a, like I said, almost like an adjustment layer um, that you can drag right onto your timeline, as you can see here. Um, so I've done that already, and so I'm going to go ahead and delete that one because I don't need any more of them in my project. Um, so as I scrub through this, I'm going to scrub this a little bit so you can see better. Um, these are some of the ones that I've already created and I'm gonna let me move this over so you could see what it says on the screen I've got two screens that I'm using for editing um, here you could see it shows up on the the project monitor um, only by going to the settings here with the wrench and choosing closed caption display and you have to enable it and then when you go to settings you have to enable what it is that you're using um, if you do not you will not see the captions in your monitor also another note is when you set the settings within the project panel like so um, let's say you're in here and when you you could double click anywhere on the adjustment layer that has the captions on it I'm gonna call it the captions layer moving forward um, it opens up this window here which is where you add your captions so also in this area there is an import settings and an export settings I found that when you choose the import settings here is where you can make your style settings um, and you could change your text, you know, bold, italic, underlined, etc. Um, your text color, right now I'm using white, bright, and the background I have set to black, but it's set for translucent. Now, when you choose those settings in the program monitor, it doesn't look the same as it does when you upload it to YouTube. So just I wanted to let you guys know that because that was something that I wanted to test out and make sure that, you know, um, what was going on with it. So if you look at it here, it looks very spaced out, almost too far, and you can't really read it that well. 
However, when you go to YouTube, I'll show you the video that I've uploaded. It looks more like the stylized setting that you choose. So let me find the video for you. Um, I apologize. Here we go. Um, in the videos here, I just uploaded this here, this Transit's uh, CC Test Sound and Color. Um, I have it set to private, um, so don't try to look for it. Um, so, so we can take a look at what it looks like. I'm going to just play it for you. See? Here on YouTube, it puts the black background effect on it automatically. Rachel, listen, I am done with the pills and drinking. Why do you keep saying the same thing over and over again? Because it's for real this time. <laughs> I've been waiting for five years now for you to get clean. Okay, so you could see clearly that um, YouTube puts the black background on it and uses the text um, that they want essentially. So it's not, it doesn't look that way in Premiere when you're working on it. Now, if there's something I'm missing with this, obviously somebody feel free to tell me, but this is what I found through experimentation, um, which is fine. I mean, this looks good. Um, you know, I know that on different players, it is going to show it differently. Like for example, I had opened that very same video in a different player, such as the one that I have on my desktop. And let me show you that. So let's see, trans, let's, here we go. Actually, let's open it in the player that I had tested earlier. Okay, I'll open it with this MPC-HC uh, player. It's good for like four, 4K uh, videos. And you can see the, the uh, closed captions look entirely different. I mean, I like them better actually, but Rachel, what are you gonna do? Why do you keep saying the same thing over and over again? Okay, so that's that difference I wanted to point out. Um, the other difference is, or not so much a difference, but another thing I wanted to show you in this video is when you're adding the subtitles for the, the YouTube video, um, this some of you may or may, may already not know, um, you'll go to advanced within your um, you know your panel here in, in uh, YouTube studio go to advanced and down here it's in a weird area it just to me it doesn't really stick out very far but there'll be a section here that you can click on that allows you to upload the uh, the closed caption file or the subtitle okay so that is what I have done so far with this um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them um, in the comments section. And I'll be going over uh, something more advanced in how to add these to your project. Um, I just didn't want to make this video too long. Okie doke, uh, sayonara, and have yourself a great day. And I will be in touch very shortly. Thank you.